Today, we're adding payment icons to your cart drawer. Now, this video was actually requested by one of you. And if you have a customization that you want to see, then add it in the comments and maybe yours will be next. Okay, let's add these payment icons. So this is a pretty nice idea to add trust to the cart drawer. And these icons can actually be seen at the footer of the Shopify store by default. If you go into the theme editor and uh, scroll to the bottom, you can uh, select the footer section and you get these options here. And there's gonna be a checkbox that says uh, enable payment icons. So you can actually toggle that on or off. So if yours isn't there, you can just toggle it on by uh, clicking that checkbox right there. But if we go to our cart, so right now it's a cart drawer, um, it doesn't share those same icons. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to add our icons here to the cart drawer. So first let's go into the themes area and we're going to edit some code. Now, if you're not comfortable with editing code, don't worry, I'll give you all the steps you need to make this customization. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to duplicate your theme uh, because if anything goes wrong, you can always revert back to your previous version. Once you've done that, you can go into edit code and we're going to open the file cart-drawer.liquid. Actually, there's gonna be two that come up. One is gonna be a section under the section folder and the other one's under the snippet. So we actually wanna open the one in the snippet. You'll, you'll know the difference because the cart drawer one just actually points to the snippet. So we'll just click that and you're gonna see all this code here. So the first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to scroll to near the bottom. And we can see here uh, that we have this cart drawer uh, element here. Uh, and if we scroll up just a little bit, you're going to see here this cart uh, drawer footer div class right here. And so if you click in the right spot, it'll be somewhere between the div and the class. It'll actually highlight the uh, the line in a in a sort of a teal color. And if you scroll down, you're going to see that there's going to be another element that is highlighted. And so those are the matching pairs, and everything in between it is what goes inside of those two div elements. And so once we've found that matching pair. It's going to be actually sort of the third div up. So there's actually four here. Um, we're going to go right in between the one that was highlighted uh, and, and we're going to insert some code right above it. And so we'll just copy and paste our code right there. And let's go back to the top and you're going to see there's this style section right there. And we're just going to create some space and paste our code right there. Okay, and so we're just gonna save. And now we're gonna open the settings schema.json. Um, and then, so we're just gonna control F to pull up the search bar and we're going to look for cart. Okay, and so this is the cart settings. Um, we're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom. Uh, similar here, we can kind of see here, we can highlight these curly brackets right before the square bracket. We're going to put a comma there, add some space, and we're going to copy and paste our code. Okay, so let's just save. So we can refresh our page, and once we've refreshed, we can go to our theme settings, scroll down, look for the cart section, and at the very bottom, we see here payment methods uh, show payment icons. Now, if we come back to our page, and refresh. And if we open up our cart, you can see here we've got our payment icons now. And so these payment icons are going to match the ones that are here, and they will be the ones that you've activated on your store that are available uh, payment options for your customers. Um, and so it's as simple as that. Now, you might have noticed that there's this shipping bar at the top here. This was a different customization that we've done in a previous video. Um, so if we Add another item, we've unlocked free shipping. If we remove it, then it'll just say how far away we are from free shipping. 
So if you're interested in that, I'll add a link in the description below to do that customization. Uh, but the reason why I'm bringing it up is because um, there's also some additional settings in our uh, cart settings that uh, are associated with that shipping progress bar that uh, if you haven't added it in yourself, you won't see these uh, settings. So that's why it might look a little bit different. Um, so you'll you'll just have uh, this color scheme and then it'll jump to the payment methods without the cart progress bar settings. Um, but if you wanted to add that, um, I think it's a great customization. So uh, check that one out. All right, so that's it for today. I hope you liked this customization and found it useful. As always, if you have any questions, just add them to the comments. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.